Welcome to Rain Fresh Harvest. My name is Barry Adler. I'm growing on approximately a little less than an acre total. This up front here is only maybe a quarter acre total with the greenhouses. I've got about another half acre to three quarters acres back the other side of the house. I've got some fruit trees. I've got um, field tomato crops out there, um, jalapenos, basil. Uh, down here out in the field, I've got a few tomatoes, basil, uh, blackberries, uh, a variety of peppers. Um, some cucumbers and um, in the greenhouses here I've got mizuna, arugula, cucumbers, spearmint um, and I've got a variety of fish uh, aquaponics operations in there too. Yellow perch, uh, bluegills, koi. I originally looked at setting up a hydroponic organic tomato and lettuce operation. Crop King has uh, had at the time some of the first greenhouses with that design. But as I did my due diligence, I found out my water was so terrible I would have to treat the water or run 35% of the water and leach every time I watered the plant. So I decided that wasn't going to work because when I looked at the cost of uh, reverse osmosis, it was going to cost me two cents more per pound for the tomatoes than I was going to be able to sell them for. Due to the water issues, I decided I had to design my own greenhouse and I had been working at Scott's as a researcher for 22 years and I had my job was outsourced so I had some severance money to look into a new business and at the time I was interested in renewable energy but back in 2004 there was absolutely no market for it. So my background's in horticulture, I've got a master's degree in horticulture, I decided well I've got this land I might as well grow things and uh, do that as my business so I, I, I started in and decided well I've got to design my own greenhouse to catch the water and I thought well I can put renewable energy on it also because at that time was the first year that the grants were available through the state of Ohio so I combined both of my interests and designed this and took about a year and a half of figuring out all the ins and outs and looking at designs that seemed to work and also different types of aquaponics that seemed to work and I kind of designed and took off from there and designed my own system. This is an off-the-grid bio-integrated greenhouse and it's powered by the sun and the wind. We have a one kilowatt Bergie XL wind turbine, 2.1 kilowatts photovoltaics. There's 12 Siemens. They were originally 175 watts each, but one of them had to be replaced because I got a bullet hole in one of them Gosh. about three years ago. And that's a 190 watt panel because they didn't make them 175 watts 10 years later so in fact those same size panels now you can get almost about 400 watts in the same square footage. These are solar thermal collectors. Uh, I have a hot a water drain back system. I originally started with um, a propylene uh, glycol system but it ended up because of the way it was designed, it was letting air in the lines and the copper was starting to degrade. So another guy came along who had had more experience in this area and he said, no, get the um, propylene glycol out of there and uh, just use straight water and, and it's worked fine ever since. Uh, so at 34 degrees, everything drains back into the building so the pipes don't freeze in the winter time. And this is hooked into a heat exchanger and I'll show you when we get in there. It pumps the hot water or takes the heat out of the water, puts it in a storage tank, or when that storage tank reaches a certain temperature, then I have PEX tubing and a concrete floor so the floor itself acts as a, a thermal storage. I've got two tanks that I catch water in. One's underground cistern, one's on the second floor. Each of them has a capacity to uh, catch 500 gallons, so I catch about a thousand gallons of water. All it takes is about a half inch of rain and that fills up that 500 gallon tank. If there's no wind or no sun I've got battery backup storage that will hold about three to four days running everything but then when I know I'm not going to have sun or wind I start shutting down things. I got about 40 different circuits in there I can flip everything off and only run the essential